Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. But it's useful that you happen by. That's lovely. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. Okay. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Who? Especially any NCR troops you run across. Caesar's Legion? Would you would you call yourself? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it, too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned. One by one, they stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. Then I bid you, Wale. Until we meet again. Okay. You guys are leaving? Sorry, some things are going on. Oh, I don't know how to use the thing. Uh, what is your B? Hey. Okay, thank you. Oh, where am I getting? Oh, right there. What's up, baby? Hey, we hold still? Yeah. Uh, you said that. What's that feel like? Oh, really? I mean, if they're gonna lay down, this one's gonna lay down. Blame them? No, not one bit. Am I gonna take everything you guys and try to sell it? Yep, every bit. Alright, guys, well, thank you. Actually, can I talk to you? Good. Uh, yeah. Hey there, need anything? Yeah. Sure, here's what I got. Appreciate you. Appreciate you a lot, actually. I don't know what this money is for this stuff. Um, actually, I need you. Can you hold on? Two minutes here? Two minutes, right? Uh. <coughs> Oh. 
Hey there, need anything? Now we're going to see the sure, got. We're going to look at Are you just telling me so I can fucking shoot you dumbass? Hmm. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Um... There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. I thought about it. I ain't gonna lie. I thought about it. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Who in this town? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Now nah, don't go getting all paranoid, partner. That bullet in your brain band probably just bucked your Brahmin a little. We're all friends here. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Be seeing you. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I think you better leave. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. We'll see. I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. Huh. 
how should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bike Gift Shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Watch out for... What's going on, man? Sure I know him. What do you want with him? You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. Okay. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's it. good enough for me. <clears throat> I can handle it. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry. Smooth skin, I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Watch me. <clears throat> God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Hello, Wanderer. 
Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. The means by which the Great Journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Bugs. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. that antler we yeah. have a visitor an assassin more like i say kill it antler for safe sake hmm okay antler i'll ask uh hi human why you come here a human who is friend to ghouls suspicious do meet the ones upstairs antler used intercom told him stay put but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get.
Never! Got you now. things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Hey, Survivor. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo. And pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. <laughs> Did you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. Oh. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. 
I'm gonna make a break for topside. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Hope that helps. I owed you. I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. You see, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass at McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Shoot. All right. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. Okay. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths. But not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. Okay. But it'll probably... Good luck. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. 
What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Yeah. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. You cut a deal with the Khans? Damn it. Attacking them now doesn't feel right, but orders are orders. Fancy meeting you here, friend. Mm. Now, now, it ain't my fault that Dorothy and the Tin Man happen to be on the same yellow striped road, is it? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Look me up. Before we get to, uh... Oh. Okay, well, guess that was it. Uh, didn't save, I don't think. Maybe it saved. I don't know. We'll see when we come back next time. Uh, see you guys on the next one.